Eventually, we all get to the point we're driving a 50-year-old truck hundreds of highway miles just to go wheeling gets to be a lot less fun. And at that point, you turn your favorite truck into a trailer queen. Well, that's the spot I'm in. So I bought this trailer. The only problem is that this trailer is a deck over, so it's way too tall to drive over easily. So I decided to add a dovetail. Check it out. All right, as promised, here's a walk around of the addition to the uh, trailer. Um, the side rails are uh, five inch C-channel, uh, the same as what was on the trailer already. Uh, we cut the back, one, the back edge of the bed off and just moved it to the to the bottom of the dovetail um, i'm still gonna have to cut off the uh, uh, stake holder stake posts holders whatever uh, so that i can put the ramps on the way i want um, the uh, treads are uh, two inch angle iron and uh, they're spaced five inches apart um, I picked five inches just because that was uh, what worked out evenly for how long I went. Uh, the dovetail itself is three feet long um, and uh, has a drop of about 10 inches, I believe, like nine and three quarter maybe. Um, we put the distance between them at 30 inches, uh, thinking that uh, anything that we could come up with would be uh, wider than 30 inch track width uh, thinking like ATVs or anything that small um, initially we were going to put build a box here you can see I put some bottom rails down there temporarily they're just tacked in I'll be removing those um, we were going to put the spare tire in there but number one it doesn't really fit as well as we'd hoped and also we're starting to get a lot of weight on the rear of the trailer um, and decided that uh, we wanted to uh, move some weight back up front so we'll be moving the spare tire back up front somewhere uh, we'll also be adding a storage box up front where we'll keep all of our straps um, and things like that we plan on adding a uh, battery and winch up front to so i can pull up smaller or uh, uh, non-running vehicles um, added uh, 2,000 pound uh, jack stands to the sides so that it's uh, we don't have to uh, keep those anywhere so those will fold up no problem and uh, thank Ryan for that idea same same jacks he used I believe and uh, the frame rail extension you can see down there in the pink color uh, that's six inch uh, C channel that I just happen to have laying around so that's why I did that, and I had to uh, set that up so that it will, uh, there's a, uh, angles down so that it hits the five inch correctly. But uh, yeah, it's good and stout, and uh, should be good. And I'm working on uh, fold up ramps now. With the dovetail on, I also wanted to attach some spring assisted ramps. All right, got the uh, makings of the ramp put together. Sits on there. Sits nice and flat. Good to go there. I think it's working pretty good so far. Locks into place. So far so good. I ended up using the springs from a square body tailgate and it made lifting the ramps a lot easier. 
All right, finished ramp video. And we have spring assist to lift. Go ahead and put her back up. Super easy. With the ramps done, we added some tail lights and the spare tire, and it looked pretty good. Of course, we weren't going to use this just to haul our wheeler, and of course, sometimes our wheeler might break down, so we added a winch. We wheeled it on some square tubing and flipped over a drop hitch to mount our winch. This helped get the winch up off the deck so that the cable wouldn't drag so much. The battery is mounted inside the toolbox, and we have a solar trickle charger mounted on top to keep it charged. Now those of you that know how important tongue weight is are already thinking, that dovetail sure added a lot of weight to the back, and you'd be right. It's recommended that you have approximately 9% of the trailer, trailer's total weight as tongue weight. All that weight out back killed our tongue weight, which made towing the trailer when it's empty a nightmare. We ended up having to add a few hundred pounds of sandbags to the bottom of our toolbox just to make it reasonable. Obviously. This isn't a great long-term solution, so eventually we got around to fixing it the right way. We got our hands on a set of race scales and used that to measure the total weight. Then we cut off the suspension. We used the lift and repositioned the axles until we were able to get about 10% of the total weight on the top. In the end, we moved the axles back 18 inches total, but it made a world of difference. Now she tows like a dream and no more sandbags in the toolbox. Please like and subscribe. It'll really help us out. And thanks for watching You in a Garage.